Well, welcome to Zag Pro Academy. My name is Guy Danoff. We want to thank you for tuning in to our special broadcast as we get ready for Tuesday at 8 p.m. this week as we will go through an orientation meeting for about 30 to 45 minutes as we unleash the brand new master class that's coming at you from Zag Pro Academy. As you know, our mantra is pretty simple. Why others zig, we zag. And right now what I'd like to do is we're going to bring in our guests. We have a great panel, and here they are. We're going to bring in Kim Morton all the way from North Carolina, and we're going to bring in our own Anna Forsolito from right here in St. Louis. And ladies, how are you doing? We're doing great. How are you doing? You know what? We're, I'm doing great. We know that we're only about three and a half hours away from kickoff with the Chiefs and the Bills, but I have to say I'm going to have to you know change screens here because this is kind of an interesting dynamic. But the bottom line is, uh, we have been, what are you wearing, Kim? Well, I'm originally from upstate New York, so I'm a diehard Bills fan. So I cannot wait. I'm in uh, Eastern time for six o'clock kickoff. So All right, and, and Anna, how about you? Well, I'm in Missouri. I, I live in St. Louis, Missouri, but I am a, I am a huge Chiefs fan. So. I have a little bit of my own. I have a my my Casey Chiefs mask, and I also have some some earrings to score it. But I'm ready. I'm ready to do this, and we need to uh, get a W for the Chiefs tonight. All right. Well, with that being said, I have no favoritism to play here anyway. With your team uh, being the host, I don't want any segment of our market to uh, draw conclusions against me. So, with that, I, I'm not going to say anything. However, I will say that I do live in Missouri, though. That's all I'm going to say on that one. <laughs> so with that being said, let's just dive right in. And, and Kim, what I'd like to do is go straight to you now. And maybe if you could tell us a little bit about, you know, you hadn't heard about um, Zag Pro Academy prior to just Thursday night when, mm -hmm. you know, we were on a call in North Carolina regarding social media. And I was wondering, you know, why basically, why do you want to do Zag Pro Academy? Um, well, you had me hooked on Thursday at that uh, brief overview of Zag or Zagging 101. And I really felt that I needed to understand better on how to tell my why and share my why. I work in a large urban school district and I'm a health and physical education coordinator. So telling and sharing the importance of PE, physical activity and health is really important to advocate for our profession. And then through that advocacy, how to influence school leaders and school systems to not only fund, but prioritize health, physical education, physical activity programming. And then really, I just was thirsty after that Thursday uh, conference call is how to understand the power and impact of digital marketing much better. I already use some of the social media tools, but I realized I need, I have a lot to learn after that first conference call. So I signed up um, immediately and, um, I kept telling a lot of my colleagues, like, this is phenomenal. This is great learning. In one hour, I was hooked. And so that's why I'm here today, and I can't wait to start zagging. <laughs> so, wow. So, Kim, with that being said, we have to ask the question, uh, when you know about zagging, really all it's about is just changing direction. And we know that during mm -hmm. the pandemic, we need to do that. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, but also tell us a little bit about some people that you've invited, because... Uh, this this particular training and master class is specific for administrators and leaders. So I was wondering if you could maybe share a little bit more about that. So immediately I actually took to digital media and I tweeted out several posts about, you know, the fantastic conference call I had with you, Guy, on Thursday. And just a little bit of the information that I gained from that one hour call. Um, I shared it with district leaders, school principals to say, hey, this might be a class for you that you're interested in taking. Other coordinators that are in my position in maybe in the state of Virginia, in Florida, um, in, throughout the state of North Carolina, just to spread the message to, hey, this is a fantastic opportunity and get on board to start learning some of the digital marketing tools and the power and impact that social media can bring to, again, fund and prioritize your programming. Right now, a lot of school systems are making budget decisions. And we want to be sure that those budget decisions involve 
also health, PE, and physical activity programming. So this is a great way to hopefully persuade them through digital marketing. Well, that sounds like a great, like a great plan and with that. I want to bring in our own ass, Anna Forsolito. Anna, why don't you react to all this awesomeness that Kim has brought to the table because she is exactly right. I mean, that is where we're, that is exactly where we're at today. So Anna, why don't you give us your reaction to this? Yeah, absolutely, Guy. Thank you so much. And I'm just so excited. And I have my Zag fam hoodie on from the PE spot, Danny Garcia. So I'm hoping that we will have some Zag Pro Academy gear to be sporting. Um, but we are really a Zag fam. Um, to react to you, Kim, I love everything that you said. And especially from that hook point, you know, there is a hook point that we have to master how to get someone's attention in that first three seconds or less. And that is something that you are definitely going to learn. And I know that you had talked to to Guy about Brendan Kane's hook point book, and which is something that we're also going to discuss. And it's really amazing. And it ties right into the first point that I'm so excited about to teach and to, for everyone to be learning is and it goes right into yours, which is clearly communicating your why. And it's not something you know, when you are communicating your why on social media or digital media, it's different than whether you're writing it on a piece of paper or you're in a conversation with your colleagues, you are putting yourself out there. And that is a very vulnerable place to be. And, but it's in that vulnerability that the realness comes out. And when you can really figure out or really have a clear vision of what that why is, um, it's really powerful. And I just, you know, we get to start with, it's, it's a lot different, but you get to start with your messy. It's okay to be, it's okay to be messy when we're figuring this out. And that's where um, the real transparency and power comes in. We get to relate to people, um, anyone that you are coming in contact with. So clearly communicating your why. And then the second one, which also falls in line with you, is to create and create your influence and impact. But we are going to take a deeper dive into how to do just that. And leaders create influence so that you, you can have a greater impact. We are in this digital marketing media era. And what is interesting is that we are fighting against 60 billion pieces of content daily. We have got to figure out how to cut through that cut clutter and create that impact and influence. And so that's what we're going to do. And then the third part is to using data to drive decisions, which is what something that guy loves to say. And so I definitely have taken that into, into heart and using it, practicing it all the time. So we are going to use two of our pieces of content that we've done through MoShape. One is Track Your Walk, and you can see on the screen here that there's some data behind this. And we are going to just kind of take a deep dive and dissect why that data helped us create this just powerful shift and also just really change the trajectory about how we advocate for health and physical education within our state and across the country. And it's I'm so excited for all of you to really um, learn and take part in this. Well, Anna, that was pretty darn awesome. I know we're <laughs> all fired up and excited. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw on the screen for everyone. I want everyone to get an idea of what the course, so I'm going to put the course description up. So let me just do that really quick. And now I think we all can see really what the purpose of this um, course is. And basically it is designed for school leaders, teachers, teachers, nurses and other school staff, as well as any state or national organizational leaders looking to develop their confidence in the ability to effectively manage various digital media communication tools simply for the purposes during the pandemic, beyond the pandemic and during the pandemic as we move mm -hmm. forward. So with that being said, ladies, uh, I think what's really important as we get set for the orientation meeting and put that on the screen right now so you can you know, save the date. And so as we get set, it's gonna be this uh, Tuesday at 8 p.m. Central time, that's nine central. And we're gonna basically break down the five course objectives uh, that you know we're gonna do a deep dive. This is not Zagging 101, but this is going to definitely be a deep dive in five major areas that were revealed to us. And with that, I'd like to get our parting shot. So let me just change the screens here. And uh, and Kim, we'll start with you. Um, I thought I knew digital marketing pretty well before I met you guys. <laughs> I really did. And um, I already had Twitter handles. I already had 
made, made my own GIFs and other images to try to convey a message. But after that one hour conversation I had Thursday night and I got to admit, I was like, am I going to learn anything new before that meeting? Um, I was blown away that the answer is definitely a big yes with an exclamation point and you need to get on the Zag Pro Academy. I think I put it in the chat saying, how do I sign up? Let me get started, please. Is there a fee? How do I do this? I'm all in. And so um, that's why I'm here today and telling this story. I just met you on Thursday. I know. <laughs> and uh, we've already been um, you know, communicating back and forth and I can't wait till Tuesday, even though it's gonna be nine o'clock my time. So you know this is a big deal and really important to me if it's nine o'clock and I am going to be, uh, I, I really can't wait. So it's, it's a fantastic idea. It's a fantastic um, way to convey your message, especially as myself, a health and PE coordinator, who I'm trying to convince district leaders right now to include health and PE and physical activity funding for the next school year. Because budget decisions are made, being made right now. Right. <laughs> we finalize them in March. August is too late. <laughs> I need to be doing it now. So I, it's just timely. It all came together. That's awesome, Kim, because we're going to be leveling up everyone. Mm -hmm. And I mean everyone with Anna. What's your parting shot? Oh, man. Kim, I just love your energy. And, you know, I'm, I've known you since April. I know we just talked about this. And then with the HB at Home Marathon. And look at the power that that had created itself on social media. And I, I what I love is that there is a definite need for this right now and yours we're seeing all over twitter that people are wanting they're recognizing that social media and that the power of advocacy within the social media world and they are wanting to show more data and they're wanting to take this deeper dive because they're posting out there in, in inquiries about it so i'm just really excited for everyone to um just to learn so much and to know that this is a whole nother world and it's a whole nother way to level up. And the last thing is, you know what, and thank you, just a big thank you to Guy, obviously. Um, this past year has been a whirlwind of an adventure and it is just the beginning. Like we are just getting started and the time is now in order to take action. And, but just a thank you also to Shape America's Brett, Brett Fuller and to mm -hmm. Shape America's President-elect, Terry Drain, because this was really in response to your request. So we made this, we wanted to make this happen with your request to take a deeper dive into the data and really show how that can be a powerful and um, becoming better leaders and advocating for our health and physical education community. So thank you to you. All right, well, look, it's pretty simple. This, uh, it's all gonna happen this Tuesday for the orientation meeting, because what we want to do is to make sure we cover the five major course objectives that we're going to review that is going to amp up or level up in 2021 your ability to all leaders to basically have more command of what is truly going on in digital media. Even if you're a pro out there, you've been doing this a long time, you know, say someone like even like a Jamie Sparks, Jamie, I can promise you that just based on the training we're gonna do on all the updates on the four major platforms, that's gonna have your head spinning. Just to let you know, it is. Because <laughs> if you're not up to date with what's going on in the world of the <laughs> analytics with uh, YouTube, yeah. for example, they also have launched a brand new tool called Premiere. Also, you, know, you have Reels going on with Instagram. We know that Twitter is no longer gonna have uh, Periscope. And, and now we know that there's a lot more things going on, especially with Facebook. Facebook's trying to become basically YouTube based on Facebook Studio. So there's a lot of different things that we're going to unpack. But most importantly, the thing that we're going to impact the most, and you know this is true of everything that we do, it all comes down to really one thing. And that is we want to level up your influence, your impact and advocacy. And we're going to do that starting for our orientation meeting this Tuesday at 8 p.m. Central Time. Please register. You can go straight to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. We have it posted everywhere, and we're going to have it posted all over. And yes, I guess uh, that's the sign from Kim that we've got to wrap this thing up because I guess she wants to watch the pregame. Anna's like, I got to watch the pregame. Um, so I guess we're all going to watch the pregame. Yeah, there you go. Go, Bill. Right? Yeah, see that? Okay, go, Chiefs. All right. And for the game. Uh -huh. So, oh, man. This is very difficult. So with that being said, what I'm you gotta believe. 
<laughs> Come on, Chief, let's go. All right. So with that being said, here it is as we wrap this up. One of us will be really happy on Tuesday. Ooh, one of us is going to be really <laughs> well, happy. It, it, okay. Exactly. Yeah, we'll not. talk about that. So really happy. as we wrap things up, we're introducing the Masterclass by Zag Pro Academy. And it's all going to happen starting this Tuesday. And we want to thank you all for tuning in to our special edition broadcast as we get set for our live orientation. For Kim Morton and Anna for Salido, I am Guy Danhoff, and we want to thank you for watching this special edition of Zag Pro Academy. Thank you. Thank you.